I am Devar Suresh Kumar and I am a student of Aravinda Vidya Mandira. Till the last few months, I have been preparing for NEET. But I am no longer doing so. There is a story behind it. So the story starts with me trying to follow my passion to become a doctor. On searching up the net, I found that the best way to do this was a NEET exam. And the best way to crack the NEET exam is to get into Brilliance. So I wrote the screening exam, I wrote the screening test and I uh, got into the res uh, residential batch. I was assigned the Aravindya Vidya, uh, Vidya Mandiram school and uh, I, uh, on further research I found that there was a second option by the name of SAT. I had this at the back of my mind but I didn't really think about it much. NEET was always my first preference. Although NEET was my primary preference, I didn't let SATs go by. I, I didn't want to let that opportunity by. So I decided to attend SATs as well. On, uh, when the score came out, I actually did quite well and I had uh, achieved quite a rank there. So, just going down the rabbit hole of medicine and uh, searching Google and watching a few YouTube videos, I found out about SATs. So, so it's, uh, I wanted to prepare more for the SATs just because it's an exam that I'll be writing. So, searching up about it, I found out about College Board. The College Board web website allows us to uh, apply for the SATs and also gives us practice papers for it. The Khan Academy website gives us sample papers that allows us to have a rough idea about the SATs and how we can crack them easily. So it's a really simple process that anybody can do. Although the admissions process might seem like it's really simple, it not only requires you to have a good rank, but uh, wants you to have good academics and to be a well-rounded student. That includes you having great uh, co-curriculars and having social activities. So you might want to go volunteering or uh, have some fun activities like horse riding or football playing included in your profile. So the SAT exam is uh, much much simpler when compared to the NEET because SAT only consists of English comprehension and basic mathematics. Meanwhile, SA, uh, NEET has uh, different three parts to it which is, uh, as you know, bio, chem and physics. So, because I had done countless problems in physics and at such a high level, I found the SAT questions in maths to be so, so simple. The SATs acts as an entrance exam. Although the, it, the SATs are conducted as an independent exam and they do not associate with any universities. So once, if you want to get admission to a university, you're supposed to independently apply. For the university admission process, we are supposed to convince the university that we are worth their admission. And for that, you need profile building which includes your academics, your co-curricular performances and uh, others beside. So the academic part of your profile building includes your marks from the 9th, 10th and 11th. So brilliance and my school had played a really important role in this because uh, the 11th portion is not very easy to grasp. The neat preparation that brilliant gave me had really helped in improving my scores at school. So my final exam marks were really high which helped me get through the admission process a lot quicker. The academic part of your profile building includes your marks from the 9th, 10th and 11th. So my 11th marks were really influenced by brilliant study centre parlour because they, uh, the neat prep that they were giving me was, uh, was amazing in the subjects of uh, physics, chemistry and biology which means my marks in, at school were really high which helped me get an amazing score in my final exam and therefore le letting me through the admissions process a lot faster. So the scholarship system is of two types, the need based and merit based system. The need based is based on your financial situation. So if you have a weak financial system at home, you can show that in your bank statements and then uh, subsequently re receive a scholarship. Or if you're, if you're looking for a merit based scholarship, it's completely dependent on your profile. The good thing about having a strong profile is that your scholarship increases accordingly. In my case, the, the annual tuition for, uh, for Wayne State comes at an about $58,000, out of which $11,000 have been discounted for me on top of uh, two years of free housing on campus. So the extracurricular activities that you would include in your profile would be those that you do out of school. So uh, sp uh, speaking personally about me, I had done a few things like give a TED talk, I had organized my own social events under an organization by the name of uh, Students for Society which had gone at an international level. Also I am a karate black belt and I had represented UA in a few fights. All of these would come under my co-curriculars. Such you can include in your profile. Although I'm not writing a uh, NEET exam this year myself, my message to those who are writing the NEET exam is that there are a few virtues that I want you to uphold as a part of the Brilliant Pala family. Virtues like dedication, hard work and success. So my personal tip is to manifest. Imagine yourself cracking NEET at every waking moment. Learn to manifest and also back it up with your hard work and preparation that Brilliant Pala has given us. To those writing uh, the NEET exam this year, 
all I want to say is wishing you all the best.